Quick Check users, I have the hack for your Quick Check. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you the one thing that is a must if you own the older Quick Jack or the new TL Quick Jack. What is happening automotive fanatics? It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you guys with a hack for your quick jack. I have owned the quick jack for many years and throughout those years one of the biggest complaints that I had about the quick jack was its portability in terms of moving it. Now the unit itself it's very easy to move around however when you have to pick it up that's one of the things that I really don't like about the quick jack because it is built very well. Full metal, it's heavy to pick up and move around. For a while, I actually hung it on my wall and I had to pull it out of the wall to get it down on the floor and then kind of reposition it and such in a way that I could use it. Uh, while it was great to use, it was just very heavy to move around. Now, I finally, uh, through the years, looked at a couple of videos where guys actually did some hacks on the Quick Jack, and I tried it myself using some of these things that I saw. Uh, guys were building very elaborate little, it looked like L bars or um, L brackets that were attached to some wheels that you could essentially slide the quick jack around and it looked pretty good and then I ran across a video for a guy that actually used some ball bearing um, wheels and I'll go ahead and put it up on um, this area here for you guys to see and uh, in addition to that he used another uh, rotating wheel that allowed the quick jack to move around somewhat I actually tried that myself. As useful as that hack was, it didn't quite work out 100% smoothly the way that you really should be able to use your quick jack. So here is the hack that I recommend for you guys that makes your quick jack so easy to move around on the floor as well as being exceptionally cost effective. I have what are called um, these little ball bearing uh, balls that you place on the edge of your quick jack. So 3M tape is probably going to be the best option. And once you set that up, you're able to just slide your quick jack around so nicely and so easy. The only downside to that is you can't really use it on uh, some type of incline, but I don't think Quick Jack even recommends that you use your Quick Jack on uh, an incline. So without further ado, let's take a look at how simple this little hack was that allows you to slide your Quick Jack in any direction without problems. So here we have the Quick Jack on the floor where I always leave it. My wife simply just drives over it so there's no complication. But let's go ahead and show you guys how easy this is. Check this out guys. As you can tell, moving these things has been such an easy task now. So I can move it back and forth. I can spin it around. So I'm going to show you real quick how this is done. So here are the little balls um, that I was talking about and all I did was I just 3M'd this smaller one here and I zip tied it just to make sure it would stay and as you can tell this little ball here it just kind of rotates. I put one on this side 
one on this side about three inches from the main lever of the quick jack so when this arm actually or the quick jack when it actually um, moves up this whole thing it moves with the arm so it doesn't move around when the quick jack is uh, in the air but when it is on the floor these things touch the ground and it just moves around so easily let's go ahead and show you the rear one here is the rear one that I purchased. This is the larger ball bearing setup. I believe they consider this one an, uh, an inch and the other one is like a half inch or five eighths inch, but I'll give you guys the link on my channel. But this one, what I did was I put it on a block. I um, 3M'd it to this plate here and this block gives the ball bearing enough height that when you lay the quick jack completely flat on the ground, these bars here will stay off the ground and that the quick jack can, chip, uh, can simply just roll around this here. And the same thing as the other two, when this arm here uh, starts to move up, the ball bearing will essentially lose its contact with the ground so that you have this section in contact with the ground for stability. So these things work out really well. And again, all I did was, you know, you just like so. And you, can, you guys can see how easy it is to move these quick jacks around. The best part, each one, the larger one costs $1.99. The smaller ones actually cost 99 cents. So that is an exceptionally uh, cheap hack to do to your quick jack. So hopefully I have given you guys a very cost effective way to hack your quick jack and to make it so easily portable and rolling around to your advantage when it is on the ground. I just took a couple things that I learned, um, improved it to what I like it for and it has worked out fantastic. Hopefully this hack is going to help you guys. As usual, thank you for checking out my channel and watching this simple hack for your quick jack. This is Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off until the next time my friends.